How's it going everyone? Today we'll be going over everything about the Saber Factory mod, which allows you to customize sabers if they are allowed by their creators, as well as using it to access your custom sabers folder. Yes, you heard me right. With this mod, you can use your custom sabers and don't have to wait for it to come back to Mod Assistant, unless you're very patient. Make sure to have Mod Assistant installed beforehand and I'll have links mentioned in this video in the description. Let's go. Open up Beat Saber and then close out of it. Next, Saber Factory has been approved and is now in Mod Assistant for an easy download by simply check marking it and clicking install or update. You can do that way, which is easy, but I will show you how to do it manually as well. The reason why is because Beat Saber will inevitably have future updates as and as we all know it, updates break mods or froze them out of the folders. I'm trying to get you guys prepared for when the worst happens. Going to the Beat Saber modding group discord, search bar filter in channel, type in community hub, followed by Saber Factory, and you will find a dedicated server for the mod Saber Factory by Tony Macaroni. Thank you so much, Tony, for this. Join it, go to updates channels where you will find the latest version. Click on it, download the zip file and drop the DLL file into the plugins folder of the game, which can be accessed by the open folder within options of Mod Assistant. Next, make sure to have added your custom sabers folder if you save it somewhere else. Just drop it back in, or if you don't have any, then create a folder and name it the same way that I have it. In Mod Assistant, make sure you have the one-click install enabled. And if it is your first time coming here, uncheck and recheck them to be certain they are enabled. Go over to modelsaber.com, sabers, pick the ones you want and click install. It will ask to open up Mod Assistant. Click yes and it will be put into your custom sabers folder. Jump into Beat Saber, look left and you will see Saber Factory. Click on it. Sometimes it takes a while and now you're at the menu for it. Already you have a default saber in front of you ready to customize. To enable custom sabers, make sure to have Saber Factory disabled, which is right in the middle. Look up to the right where custom sabers are showing and select the saber you want. Go back, select a song, and you will see your saber is back and working again. In case custom saber mod shows back up on Mod Assistant, you can still download it if you want, but just remember to toggle off Saber Factory like how I showed you in the settings to use custom sabers. Now time to customize a saber with different parts. First, select none for custom sabers and then we have a default saber in front of us. Down to our left, you see preset, go into it. When you customize saber, click new and save it as whatever name you want. The minus is to delete a saved saber. Click preset to go back after creating a new saber file. On your right, we got our customized saber options. Right now, we are in the model tab. The five icons in the middle are the different parts you can switch out. In blades, you have the option to change the width, whether they be thin or thick, and if they have animation or props to it, you can edit them here. Same thing for all the others. Trails have various controls from length, width, offset, and you can even flip it. Emitter is the top part of the hilt. Then we have the hilt itself followed by the pommel, which is the bottom part. We also have the halo tab, which you can add other assets onto the saber like this partic uh, particular one with your name going around your blade. You can add your name by editing from the animation section. Sometimes it doesn't appear, but I go into the settings and enable property editing settings, which will slow your movement in the editing. But after I finish adjusting animations, I disable it. Down below, you have shape saber, which will allow you to adjust the saber if we have the indicators. 
You want to grab them and move left or right to see the changes and let go. Some savers don't come with the indicators and you can toggle them off or on in this selection, but I leave them all on. Transform part controls the lower part of the saber. Z offset will let you grab the hilt and move it up or down controlling the size of the blade either making it long or short. Part width will increase or decrease the width. Z rotation will rotate on the Z axis and flip part will flip it then combine it with Z offset to move it into place. You also have rotate which will rotate everything. Looking at the left menu, you see materials which detail the different sections of the saber that you can modify. And in the shader section after selecting a material, you can change the shader or texture material for that specific part. So if you want that part to be metallic or reflective, just simply select it. Each shader has its own property section and you can alter them depending on what you want to do with it. If you don't like the way things look, then just click revert material or revert all materials. Now, how to add more content into Saber Factory? Go to saberfactory.com. For us to get parts easily, we need to download the launcher. So I already downloaded it. It tries to locate your Beat Saber folder. In my case, it failed and I had to manually select the, the location of it which I hope you guys know where you keep your games. Then it prompted to update to version 1.6.3, which in modern system, it's 1.6.2. And eventually it'll become that version, but I just always make sure to update it to the latest one. So click update and that's it. Now, when you go back to saberfactory.com into parts, you can install whichever item you want and it will indicate it when it finishes. You can also go into custom savers and select savers with allowed customization, meaning that you can take these savers and mix and match the parts of them together however you want. Now that you have all the necessary tools, go out there and make your own customized saber. If you want to see more Beat Saber tutorials, then check out my Beat Saber tutorial playlist that covers how to get custom avatars, Twitch chat, song request manager, and much more. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more future content. Check my social links down below to be updated as to what I'm currently working on and when I'll be posting my next video. Thank you guys again for all your support. My name is D Legionnaire signing out. Peace.